Got some baby geese out here at a Walmart parking lot, guys. Canadian geese. Got the little babies and everything. These are the evilest creatures known to man, everybody. We're going to go fishing today at Plum Orchard Lake. I'm going to show you a couple techniques on how to catch uh, some crappie and bluegill. And uh, we, got, sorry, we got our baits just now in Walmart. Just showing you all some baby geese. This is uh, will be the first uh, intro part of the video. And uh, we're going to show you some slide bobber rigs and uh, basically casting jigs and uh, retrieving jigs. Some of the easiest techniques to catch crappie and panfish and maybe bass or catfish. There is, guys. We're going kayak fishing today. Hope you all enjoy these baby geese and these lovely Canadian geese that fly here. Well, they pretty much live here all year round. See all the babies over there? I don't know if you see them that good. <laughs> Okay guys, we're up here at my uh, local lake spot. We're gonna be using some Bobby Garland baits right here with our float, our uh, sliding bobber rig. We're gonna be using the uh, chartreuse gulp alive minnows to catch some crappie and stuff or bass, whatever we're gonna catch in here. First up, we're gonna use the uh, good old, uh, the good old uh, gulp minnow. See what we get on that from dragging it and chucking it. Now to catch them right here at the dang boat dock. Let it sink a little bit and just start reeling. And if we don't get a hit over here in the next two minutes, we're gonna move on to a different spot here. We got a one eighth ounce jig head on this bugger. And just let it sink a little bit and draw it in. There you go. Uh, we had a couple blue ups over here. We're going to throw that gulp minnow in there again. There is crappie all up in here. So, you know, just let it sink a little bit. And uh, hopefully these stupid boats won't beat me around like a daggone bobber. And then slowly reel it and just jig it a little bit and uh hopefully we'll get a hit again probably not that gum boat and wind uh, fuck. Uh, man alive well yeah, we got a few hits. We didn't get much. Ugh. Got one. Right there, folks. We got one. Oh, yeah. We got either a bluegill or a crappie here, guys. Woo! We got a crappie. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a crappie. With one shot, baby. We got one crappie with the... Gulp alive minnows, guys. A nice little one. Look at the size of that one. They hit it right off the, the bat. First crappie of the day, guys. Crappie. Gulp alive minnows always gets them here, I'm telling you. All right, this is take number four. Maybe you might catch another crappie over here with the gulp alive minnow. We got one so far. We got one take from a crappie. Of course, we really can't cast that far over here because of the stupid uh, constrictions of of this uh, stupid boat ramp we're at right now. I'm going to have to move a damn spot here. Oh my god. Ugh, here comes another boat. Okay. Uh, come on, drop. Oh my god, what is the problem now, you bitch? Oh, it's not casting for shit. Uh, getting hung up on everything here. 
This is just one bad spot after another here, guys. Oh, man, it didn't want to cast very well. I'm, I think I'm just casting it in duck poop at this point. Uh, GoPro, stop recording. I'm fishing in front of the dam here, guys. Try to catch some of these bluegills. Bluegills are crappies out of this dam. Sometimes they're up here in this dam area. But, uh, don't know. We'll try a, a couple casts over here at the dam with this uh, gulp alive minnow. If we don't get nothing within a few bites, I, I say we'd move on. Of course, I got bad positioning with the kayak. There we go. Oh, man. Not really where I wanted it, but let it sink down on that shelf and just, you know, maybe crank it in a little bit here. I don't know, we might catch one at the dam, we may not. So it's just the way fishing is, guys. It's really slow here because it's highly pressured. We did catch one crappie though, which ain't terrible. I mean, at least I didn't get skunked entirely. <laughs> Alrighty, let's cast it over here a little bit. Oh, that's a good spot, but I'm glad I didn't get stuck on that there. get stuck on that tree limb there I mean this dam should be teeming with fish I think it's the corner over there it really catches a lot of fish oh we got another crappie guys no it's a bluegill uh we got a bluegill guys another bluegill that's an eater though but he knocked my dang jig off I knew I'd get one in there persistence always pays off ouch Daggum it. Daggum. Gulp live minnows is what gets them. Chartreuse is the color this month. See? Chartreuse. Boy, I tore that thing all to hell. Well, I think we need another one. Okay, we got two already on the um, Gulp Live Minnow. Now we're going to use the uh, Bobby Garland with the Slide Bobber Rig and the uh, Bobby Garland um, Chartreuse Cricket. Uh, it's Cajun Cricket. And we're going to try this one out with the Slide Bobber Rig. Maybe we might catch one with the Zebco 33 here. And uh, just let it sit out there and hopefully something nails it. I don't know. I think I might be running it a little bit tad too deep. But then again, we're over here at the dam. That might be the ticket right there with this float rig set up here. I might have it a little bit too deep. Yeah, that wind right there, as you can see, that bobber over there is just working itself. You know what I mean? And uh, it should be fairly deep. I think it's running about 10 feet deep at the most. Five or six feet deep. And we're using about a six foot rod. And just working this whole spot over here where it's deep enough. And them waves should do the business for the uh, bobber and jig. Might be too deep. Got another bluegill guys this is a tank it's a third bluegill we caught guys a big one it's a tank we're gonna keep this one here and uh i didn't get it on film because my cut camera didn't want to turn on but there you go let's go we're gonna keep this one too uh a titanic bluegill another big one and uh we're gonna have to move to different spots here 
gonna rearrange. I might have to use a bigger jig head, guys, because the jig head I'm using right now is not really big enough. It doesn't seem like it wants to sink with this wind. The wind is really bad, guys. Got another one. Ha <laughs> ha It's three in a row. something hit it but they spit it dang i got a nice hit right there guys oh my goodness this is really bad conditions today guys i've been really struggling out here with the wind it's been worse than normal um oh we're getting a mm, we got one right here guys got another one. Oh yeah it's a nice one. Ooh, it's a big old bluegill guys big bluegill trying to get me wrapped up in all the stuff here Oh, it's a titanic bluegill, guys. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that bluegill, guys. Holy smokes. That is a bread pan bluegill. That's... Oh, he's peeing everywhere. That's my fifth bluegill, guys. Look at the size of that thing. Holy smokes. It's got to be almost a pounder right there. Big old bluegill. I think I'll work that spot again. Ooh, something hit it. Uh, something hit it. I got a nice hit there. I think it might be a crappie over there on that weenie line over here. Oh, dang it. A little bit too far out there. Let it sink all the way and then start strolling it in. We already got four already. Remember, we're working on our number five fish here, guys. Maybe catch another uh, bluegill or maybe a crappie here. I'm not sure yet. Um, throw it along this weed line here. And uh, let it drop. The way you fish with a... I didn't have much luck with that uh, cricket, Cajun cricket uh, bobber. I kept using that stupid Zebco 33 and the face started coming off of the uh, reel. So we're working on this one here. Trying to catch another fish or something. We already got five in the boat. Trying to go for another one here, guys. Work this minnow real slow like you're trolling it. Uh, we didn't get nothing. It's better to use open spots with the gulp minnow and uh, let it sink a little bit. We're in a deeper area here than the last place we were fishing. The other place we were fishing was a lot shallower, so where we're fishing now is pretty deep. So we got to let it sink a little bit and then reel it, let it drop off like a real minnow. And hopefully we'll get a snag or a hit. Hey guys, oh, we got another crappie right around that bush. Crappie! Got another paper mouth or aka crappie guys, another one. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, but we hooked my finger. That's a great thing to do. Hook your finger, guys. There's another crappie. We're going to eat him. He's a good size one. Add him to the fish decor. Caught a crappie. Okay, we caught one right out here in the front. Maybe we'll catch another one right here. Caught a nice crappie right in front of that structure down there. You catch one crappie, you usually catch one or two. So, if not, we'll move on to a different spot. But we did get a nice one there. With this uh, gulp lab minnow. I, I just went to start using this gulp lab minnow because I'm getting more action off of it, guys. I'm going to have to reposition this minnow around. And chuck it over there. Oh, it went into the lilies, dang it. Let it sink a little bit, and then you start reeling it in real slow. Sometimes I'll hit it right on the fall. I don't know if we'll get another one here or not, but I did catch one right in that hole there. But it might have been the only one there, guys. So, you know, that's the way this fishing is out here, guys. You catch them in one spot, you don't catch them but one or two. You might get one or two in that one spot, you know what I mean? 
They tear your lure all to hell though, man. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, just die already. Stupid fish. Well, I think this bait here is toast. I think we need got another. We're gonna have to get us another one on here, guys. Throw it over here in front of this structure here. Maybe that might have the juice. There we go. That's a good spot right there, guys. Six pound test is what I'm using, fellas. Because, you know, the, the wind is real bad. It's, oh, we got a, oh. Hey, gum almost got me in the eyeball. We got snagged on a tree over there, which is not good. There's a lot of little minnows, shads jumping. So I'm thinking that there's these, these crappies are nailing them. So the crappies are pushing the shad out of the water and they're jumping. Oh, we got another little bluegill, guys. Had to fight the boat wake to get him in here, but he's too small. We're gonna have to let this one go. Gulp minnow again. I'm telling you, man, these gulp minnows are the masterpiece of lures, man. You guys go another one. Well, we're trying this little corner here. This is where I caught that catfish last time, guys. Uh, I'm not sure though might stay here for a little bit and if i don't get anything with the first two two times you know you ain't got a fish in this area that's interested in your lure i like lure, using lures because you know lures will always catch where you know most um you know baits kind of cheating lures are always good i tried the bobber and stuff it just not it's just not panning out for me but uh yeah, this uh, jig head is, you can tell it's tore up already. I already use it like 50 times. Every time I cast it, it's, it falls off the jig head. Okay, that's a good spot. That's where I wanted it from the first place. But it's been so windy. Every time I cast to a spot, it just doesn't want to go where I want it to go. You know what I mean? You want to work around the lilies, around structure if you can with these lures. Oh, there's one right there, guys. We got one. Ooh, it's a big fish, whatever it is. Probably a bluegill, maybe. Oh, yeah, we got one here, guys. Oh, it's a big crappie, guys. It's another crappie. We got another crappie, guys. You see that? We caught a crappie, man. <laughs> another one. That's three. We're going to have a big old dinner by the time we get out of here. Oh, boy, look at that. We got another crappie, guys. <laughs> another crappie. Oh my goodness, look, this bait is so tore up, I'm going to have to go get another one. Got another crappie, that would be number four. Crappie number four, guys, right here. <laughs> it's a crappie kind of day, guys, and a bluegill kind of day. Hold still there, buddy. You just want to dig your skin in me, don't you? Yeah, it's too late now, buddy. I found a nice little spot for you crappies, and I'm going to terminate you guys. Okay, we got another crappie, guys. We missed one, we got another one. It's like five crappies in the boat, guys. And I know where they're at now. I'm right in the honey hole, guys. Oh, there it is. Got another one, guys, right there, one after another. Oh, that's a bluegill this time. No, that's a crappie. Holy smokes, we got another crappie, guys. We found a honey hole of crappies. Look at that, guys, another freaking crappie. Wow, it's a honey hole of them. We're going to exploit the crap out of this spot here, guys. <laughs> wow, we got another crappie, guys. That's almost six crappies. We're going to keep them because I'm going to eat them when I get home. But, man, we are tearing these crappies up, dude. We're wearing them out here, guys. Find a nice little honey hole full of them here. 
we're going to exploit them to the fullest with these gulp minnows guys let me work my way i know exactly where they're at too guys we're gonna have to maneuver my uh, kayak around a twidge and we're going to get another one That's the sauce right here. We're in the honey hole here, guys. I've already gotten three crappie in the same spot. Usually, they stick around one spot. And they'll just be in this one little area here. They're in this weed line right here. I'm in perfect striking. Got him. There's another one, guys. Oh, there he is. That's another nice one, guys. That's another crappie, guys. Right there. Another freaking crappie, guys. That's six. That is six crappies, guys. Oh, my God. We found a crappie honey hole, guys. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, good God. Can't get it out of his mouth. Okay, we found a honey hole, guys. We're going to exploit this, buddy. Oh, let me tell you guys, we're going to exploit this spot for all it's worth. Oh, dang, I, I threw it in the wrong spot, but maybe we'll get one right here beside this here weed bank. Oh, damn it. Caught me a darn freaking weed again. We might have played all the crap out of this hole. Ugh. Best day of crappie fishing ever, man. It's more crappie I've ever caught in a long time, guys. And the honey hole again. I kept casting it in the wrong spot there, but I'm getting it right in the right spot here, guys. Best I can for you. Dang it. Oh my god, wrong spot, man. got another one there we go guys we got another crappie or is it a bluegill i can't tell oh it's another crappie guys oh look at there got another crappie guys oh we're gonna fill up a bag right here today guys oh my god that's the fifth sixth freaking crappie i caught in the same spot <laughs> oh my god we're tearing them up guys that's literally the sixth freaking crappie i've caught in the same spot <laughs> <laughs> that's six crappies in one spot <laughs> man that's si oh oh another there we go we got another <laughs> this is ridiculous the worst it's the most freaking crappies i've ever caught in my whole life guys oh he's got me snagged up in something you devil oh there he is it's a bluegill this time it's a bluegill not a crappie Oh my God, I literally caught another bluegill, guys. That's a good one, we're gonna keep it. Oh my God, dude, that's like six in a row, man. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best day of fishing yet here, guys.
Slaying the crappies. We're slaying the crappies, guys. Holy shit. Best crappie spot in West Virginia, guys. If you've not been to Plum Orchard Lake, you guys got to come here and test out your crappie skills, guys, because this is the place to be. Catching crappies, guys. I got snagged on a weed. So that's the bad thing here. There's a lot of weeds and there's a lot of crappies and bluegill in these weeds. But you kind of got to get around them in order to catch them. Dang, I almost hit myself in the head with it. Well, that's seven fish in one spot, guys. That is insane. That's more fish than I've caught in one spot in a long time, guys. I got snagged on some weeds here. It's a very productive spot here. I think I might have made all the crappies go extinct in this spot already. Oh, got another bluegill, guys. Big one this time. Got a bunch of crappies over there in the other corner. I think we uh, tapped the crappies out in that spot. We got another bluegill here, guys. Big one. Six pound test. We're going to have a stringer of fish by the time we get out of here, guys. And that's all in one lure, guys, the past 10, 15 minutes. It's unreal how many crappie I've already caught already. On freaking real, guys. Best day of fishing all damn since I've been here, guys. Best day of fishing, guys. We're going to try to hook this thing again if we can use it again with the jig. So at least we lose it. Right here seems to be a good spot because I'm around a bunch of logs and stuff. And we might catch another one around here, guys. This is like a good spot right here. Just let it come over here and uh, let it sink down here and just try to run this lure around here. Might catch another one here. Last time we caught a catfish over in this spot. Bunch of catfish, guys, in here. There's a... Uh, whole bunch of catfish in this lake guys we're gonna throw it over here next try to straighten ourselves out let it sink a little bit and hopefully we will catch another fish guys this has been outstanding fishing today guys we've caught literally our bag limit of crappies and then some it's insane guys i ain't never caught this many fish here you know what i mean this is a good day this lure is kicking some butt guys literally kicking some butt here with this uh chartreuse the chartreuse minnow from gulp minnow good god oh buddy i don't know if we're gonna catch anything over here but these minnows will literally catch any species of fish guys bass crappie bluegill Oh, we had a snag, but I don't think it was anything. I just run it slow, let it drop a little bit. The kayak's moving pretty fast. About a knot or two because this wind is blowing me around. I mean, I could end my fishing today, guys, and, and call it a day. As many fish as I caught today, and I got bouncing around in my boat. I'm telling you. It's insane, guys. How good the fishing's been. I exploited that spot for as much as I could. That's the thing about fishing, guys. You exploit a spot, you get one fish, you know there's going to be several different fish in that spot. You stay in that spot until you don't get any more hits. And then you move on. I haven't really caught that many with the uh, the Bobby Garland bait so far, but uh, um, this right here should be a good spot with this tree. If you see any like down trees and stuff, that's usually a good spot for crappie. You know, you just allow this little lure to sink. Reel it in slow. If you get a hit, set the hook on them. Like I said, you can catch bass with it. You can catch bluegill with it. I mean, ooh, we got one right here, guys. Oh, we had a spit and a take. It probably was a bass. Knowing the bass around here, they like to mouth it a little bit. Or it could be a crappie, I don't know. There's a lot of crappie over here. This would be a good spot for a crappie. I 
Well, this spot is not productive. Maybe okay, guys, I hope you like that uh, crappie action. Um, I didn't use the uh, jig head and the bobber too much because it's too windy. Um, got a mess of crappie already. I'll take a picture of it and put it at the end of the video for you guys. Um, hope you all like this content of slaying some crappies and how you can catch them and uh, different ways of catching them. I caught them basically all on the gulp minnow and fishing structure around... Uh, the weed lines and around down trees if you guys like this content please give me a uh like share and subscribe and y'all tell me what you think y'all take it easy it's been your old boy hondo with another fishing video peace out everybody